Shock looks that way. Now swings it out in the flat. That's coming out of the flat. That's Piper with speed at the 40. Hurdles a man at the 35, out of bounds. At the 34-yard line, Aaron Piper at the tight end and may have moved, got away with it. Here's Easley trying to go left. Puts a foot in the ground, turns it back upfield. Now has a lead block at the 30, Easley to the 25. He'll be pulled down by Amani Martin at about the 22-yard line. That's a gain of 21. Colonels have slowed us down a bit, but unable to do so. Here's a quick turnaround inside, caught at the 10. This is Judah Jones to the end zone. That's actually Justice Liggins. Liggins into the end zone, touchdown Lumberjacks. As Liggins holds up the one and the two for his buddy Fred. Here's Landry Clan. Takes the snap. Short set. Pressure. Now runs up. Hit. Ball's free. Picked up by a Colonel offensive lineman. It's still free at about the 40. Did we get it? Yes. Turnover. Lumberjacks. It was knocked free. And coming up with a loose ball. Henry to the left hand of Figaro. Figaro will keep it. Left side gets a block. He's hit at the two. It's free in the end zone. Ball picked up by the Lumberjacks. Out of midair. And the Jacks get it back out inside the 10. As I think that was Jamad Williams. Ball was popped free. And a late flag comes in for some contact afterwards. Colonels with players down on the field. But I think whatever else happens, it's going to be turnover. Lumberjack's going to have the football here as they'll sort everything out. Figaro, one of the injured players, is left. Looks it downfield, finds Thomas at the 25. Aaron ridden out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. He'll have the first as Thomas just found an open hole and sat down in it. As Conk will pass. Looking that way, that's actually Judah Jones. He runs the out, caught at the 25 and out of bounds at the 22-yard line. Judah Jones with the reception. Conk turns, gives it to Easley. Easley leans forward at the two, keeps it moving in for the touchdown. Lauren Easley, touchdown Lumberjacks with 8.16 to go here in the third quarter. Lumberjacks with in eight, awaiting the extra point. Third and 11. Here's Zach to pass, three-man rush. Time all day. Sideline caught, Liggins. No, that's Sylvester. Out of bounds in Colonel territory at about the 43. Lee. Sets to the right hand of Kahn. Three receivers to the left side. Easily coming left. Easily with a lane at the 30. 25. Slips through that tackle. 20. Easily spun down at the 16 yard line. As Lauren Easley will go over 100 yards with that carry. Now for the Lumberjacks. Now the Quan Ruff is over there to the left side. And Zach will keep it inside the 15. Cock of the 10 at the 5. Touchdown, Lumberjacks. As Zach Cock in from 18 yards out and just what the doctor ordered, a quick, quick scoring drive, Lumberjacks, as we'll take about a minute 35 off the clock with that march. Zach, they show pressure from the edge. It comes, we pick it up, Cock lets it go, has a man, that's Sylvester at the 40. Robert at the 45, out to the 47-yard line. Cock took a big hit back there, he's up. The guy that delivered the blow is still down. We get in a little trouble here. Here's a swing out. Braxton Bearden right side trying to get a block downfield. Breaks off a tackle. Stays on his feet at the 30. Bearden will have the first down as the Colonels push him back. Braxton with about six extra yards breaking through that tackle the right side. Everybody in tight. Zach takes the snap. Rolls right. Conk hit into the end zone. Touchdown, Lumberjacks. Cock from a yard out, and the Lumberjacks have their first lead of the afternoon. 27-24 with 26 seconds to play. Cock with 20 carries on the afternoon. Zach also 17 of 26, 163 through the air with a touchdown. Here's a high kick, mishandled in the end zone. Colonels will come out with it. Jacks downfield to cover it. Make a big hit at the 12. Ball pop free. It's free. Ahmad Muhammad, I think, picked it up. Jacks are going to have it inside the five. Lumberjacks are going to win it. So the Colonels turn it over on the ensuing kickoff. And the Lumberjacks will have to take a knee to send the Colonels on a long bus ride back to Thibodeau. And the Lumberjacks are going to win this one, 28-24. SFA moves to 1-5 on the year. Colonels fall to 0-5. Lumberjacks on the road next week. In Hammond, Louisiana, 7 p.m. kick against the Lions of Southeastern Louisiana. 
Jacks 295 yards rushing today. Come from behind win, 28-24. Hope you enjoyed it. We're back to wrap it up on the Bud Light Post Game Report right after this.